What if we did a World Cup, but it had 228 teams? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video on the channel. It's a big one here. I don't know how long this may last. It may last a long time. I've been looking about for a Qatar World Cup save to try to simulate that. Can't find one yet, but I found something even better. What if the Vatican City was in the World Cup? How would they do? Probably quite sh but let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, in front of your faces, in front of your screens right now, I have got the best thing I have ever seen. We have got the FIFA World Cup, but we have got 228 different teams in this one tournament, right? Scroll down, you can see the sheer scale of how many teams there is in this tournament. Tournament. There's teams in it that I never even knew even existed, like Wallace and Fortuna. I didn't even know they even existed, but apparently their rival is Tahiti and New Caledonia, and apparently France, okay? Other nations, such as the mighty um, Artigua and Barbuda, 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 they're doing massive, and, and the best part is, their actual players are here. Look into the national teams. These are real players. These are not just made up. Each team here has got all their players possible in the game for their team. So for example, for Otigua and Barbuda, the highest value player is the actual Luther James Wilden. He's Wilden, bro. And he plays right now for Stevenage. So this is all legit. This isn't just made up. Apparently, that's their stadium. The Otigua Recreation Ground massive this is absolutely beautiful so we've got every single team here so i can try and score through and see any like big derbies here um the u.s virgin islands are up against armenia massive game that is argentina versus kiribati we got messi versus kiribati actually i've got that flag behind me there the flag right there got kiribati oh and oh my wait wait i just realized i got a kiribati flag right next to the argentina flag and they're against each other in my save do you know what the odds of that is the odds of that is so mad actually Okay, Austria v Chile, actually two decent teams against each other, I feel quite bad for those two. Um, Northern Ireland v American Samoa, massive. Where is the Vatican City? Now for some reason, I don't know why, but the Vatican, for some reason, I don't know why, but they're currently the Czech Republic. So, um, they're not actually the Czech Republic, this is their team. Um, they're so bad that they don't even exist, but that kind of makes sense. Who else is there? There's also, um, oh, a big derby here, yeah, I just saw, of Mon Martinique, Martin versus Micronesia. I don't know either. I never even knew Mark Micronesia even existed. Ireland are up against the mighty Northern Mariana, so they should hopefully beat them. San Marino, San Marino with a big derby day against St. Pierre and Migolon. This is an actual game that they could, in theory, actually beat. San Marino could win a game of football. If San Marino wins in the football, if they beat them, you, you best like this instantly. You best like the video, subscribe, contact your mother, your nan, your father, or your family. They gotta see this, right? Thank you, by the way, to FBI agent for the sub. I'm currally live on my Twitch TV as well while also recording this. So down below in the description, go and follow me over on Twitch. I'm live here every day. Almost, I I am a father, so sometimes I can't make it because. I got farther stuff to do. Um, Scotland, they've got Vietnam. They may actually lose. Um, they'd be quite unfortunate, but they could get knocked out first round. England up against um, Thailand. So, you know, going to hope for the best here that we should make it through. So, yeah, 228 teams in the World Cup. Um, first round is a one-game knockout, and the next round will be a group stage. So, let's go through the first round here. They're the playing on the 40th of August, and wish us best of luck. And come on, San Marino. There, there are teams that we're cheering on for. Tell me down below who's like your team you're cheering on in like wacky names like Team All Lest or I don't know, Afghanistan. Come on, lads. And let's see who goes through first round. Yo, do you play FIFA 22? Yeah. Is your team bang average? You absolute pathetic piece of. You're saying that to the viewers? No, obviously. Ah, okay. I mean you. Do you face teams like this? You can't keep getting away with it! Do you know there's a way to get coins? Why are you shouting at me? <laughs> then go to usabuy.com for the cheapest and most reliable place to buy your coins on FIFA 22. Link is down below in the description. And also use code VISA at checkout to get a discount. Your YouTube videos brought me here, man. Great job. Keep going. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. My oh my god. My PC is crashing. Oh my god! Oh my god! My PC is literally freezing by having all these games at the same time. Okay, it's, it's cool. Once the first game is done, because this, this is the, the hardest part. Okay, I think we're back. I think we're back, right? <laughs> oh my god, that actually almost killed my... It's fine. The first one will be the hardest one because this has the most teams at once like playing against each other. After this, it should be 
easier, okay? My PC's just gone through a heart attack here, but we're back, okay? It's gone through A&E, and let's see what has happened in the FIFA World Cup. Any shockers, okay? Boom! Oh my god, this looks ridiculous. Okay, so we have got the group stage. So what we just saw was the qualifying round. Now we are actually in the official first round, and look at how dumb this looks. There is a 19-team group stage. <laughs> There's a 19-team group stage. Top 10 of each group goes through into the second round. 228 teams to now 114 teams. And then after this round, we'll be 64 teams, right? There is six different groups. Quickly here, who's top goal scorer? It's a guy by the name of Baghdad Bonja. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering your name. Louis Matufa for the big mighty nation of Central African Republic has got six goals. My boy, we're gonna stop this guy, man. This guy, he can't stop stat padding, man. Lionel Messi has got four assists in a game. Argentina, they won um, how much? 12-0 against Kiribati. I mean, it was, a, it, was a, it, was a, it was a good effort. All right, it's a good effort, at least. Africa are out. South Africa are out. Not about Albania. Hate to see it. Chile is out. Panama is out. Australia is through. Get in. New Zealand are out. China is gone. Ukraine knocks them out. I mean, that's... um. There's probably a joke in there somewhere, but I can't be honest thinking about it. Bulgaria is out. The Vatican City, no! No! They lost 10-0 to Egypt. It's Mo Salah, Paul Power, why are you doing this to us, bro? Oh my god, Turkey almost got knocked out by Faroe Islands. They only went through an extra time. India is out. India! God damn it, man! Boring. Jamaica's gone. Libya's through. Jamaica, man, you had one chat. North Korea, they got knocked about Liechtenstein. Micronesia must be so sh because if Martin, get, Martin FC has got 10 goals on you, that is not even funny, bro. Ireland's through, Norway's through, Wales is through, Poland only 2-0 against Curaçao? What? San Marino! No! San Marino! San Marino, they're out. No. Oh, no. San Marino are out. How can you lose a St. Pierre and Miguelon? That sounds like a character from... A, a little mermaid, bro. Switzerland. I think Switzerland may be the, the biggest team that's actually been knocked out. They lost to Benin. 2-1. All right. So that is that round. Let's go through group stages here. Um, I mean, it's just, it's just kind of waffle, really. I mean, England's the same group with Wales and Russia. That can go well. Yeah, I mean, you'd imagine that there should be a walk in the park for the big nations. But hey, you never know. You never know. We're going to sim all the way now until... I have no idea when. Okay, well, we'll see you when we're at least halfway through the group stage and see where we're at. Ladies and gentlemen, we're halfway through the group stage of the first round. A lot has happened, okay? My PC is, I can hear it almost, it's crying for help here. I think we're like at least nine games in or eight games in. Let's see what it's looking like halfway through the group stage. Here we go. So we're currently eight and nine games in. So top goal scorer is Luis Suarez. And we got Mohamed Salah and Joseph Martinez for top goal scorers of this current group stage. Average rating height. The top guy right now is Insigne, Luis Suarez, and Kylian Mbappe. England are not top of their group. They drew to, I think, Denmark, I presume. No, Albania. They drew to Albania. In terms of Wales, Wales, they may be potentially struggling to make it out. Kuwait and Syria are currently above Wales right now. B, we've got Brazil, Belgium, USA, Netherlands, put comfortably through. Um, Australia are currently on the edge of being knocked out. South Korea are doing very poorly, actually. They could be knocked out. And so is Norway and Ecuador. Norway with Erling Haaland, for some reason, their defense is just an absolute mess. They're being knocked out by being beat by Australia, beat by South Korea, beat by Morocco. So Norway, Haaland, could maybe not even make it through the first round. And Holland's amazing on FM, by the way. Yeah, I mean, Marley doing fantastic for themselves, really. Group C, we've got Uruguay, Austria, Portugal, Ireland, Scotland. So Scotland, Ireland should be hopefully through the first round. Palestine and Madagascar could also be going through. Group D, France, Spain, Argentina, Senegal, Canada should be all easily going through. Nigeria are actually on the edge of also being knocked out too. Um, Togo, North Macedonia, Common and Macedonia Massive, Azerbaijan, Lithuania, um, use Pakistan, Cyprus, um, also in a fight. Group E, being Mexico, Sweden, Serbia, Ghana, and Colombia, and Angola doing quite well for themselves. Japan, Greece, Northern Ireland, and Slovakia are currently outside of the um, drop zone. They could be 
relegated. They could be dropped out of the World Cup, actually. Um, Egypt only just in. Likes of Angola, Guinea, Kazakhstan, and Bolivia are currently ahead of Mohamed Salah's Egypt. So, Salah could be indeed out of the World Cup. Group F got Italy, Germany, Croatia, Turkey, and Czech Republic, Venezuela, and of course, easily going through. Likes of getting knocked out is the likes of Kosovo, DR Congo, and Ukraine. Ukraine could be knocked out here, sadly. And lads, that is where we stand halfway through. I'll see you guys in the end. The worst team performing right now in terms of goals um, conceded, I think, is Mongolia. Um, as you know, it's St. Pierre and Migolon. I'm so sad that San Marino isn't in here. I'm so sad. But yeah, the worst team performing for goal difference is in fact St. Pierre and Miguelon. So yeah, I'll see you guys at the end. Here we go. Is Erling Haaland or Human Son out of the World Cup? Here we go. Second round is confirmed. Top goal scorer is Luis Suarez, Ronaldo and Martinez. Average ratings is Insigne, Jack Grealish and Harry Kane. Oh, here we go. This is when it gets interesting. So first things first. Madagascar is through. Madagascar through to next round. And Norway is through alongside South Korea. Wait, they're both through? Wait, what? 11th place also counted. Maybe that's like the, the top points. Like who's got the most points maybe qualifies through. Um, Syria are in. Syria's through. Okay, Syria's in. North Macedonia are out. Northern Ireland's through. Oh my god. Okay, so they've somehow shit their way through. I think because they had um, the, probably the most points out of each group combined. And Saudi Arabia as well. So I think that's what's happened here. Yeah, North Macedonia's got less points and so does Turkmenistan. So somehow, Human Son, um, Northern Ireland, Saudi Arabia, they've made it through. Wow, they are very, very lucky. And there you go. Into the second round. This is when it gets interesting. Okay, it's a pure knockout. One leg. And this is when the World Cup gets serious. The kind of deader teams, the, the islands and the middle of Caribbean are out. There's still some interesting teams here, though. I can still see the likes of Bolivia's in it. The Congo's in it. Cape Verde. Um, Azerbaijan. Zambia's in it. Guinea's in it. Syria is in it. Um, Paraguay is still in it as well. Angola. Who's probably the lowest team based on the... FIFA World Rankings, Togo or Tanzania, maybe, I guess. Oh, Madagascar, they're currently ranked 101st in the world. So, we've got some good matchups here. England against Guinea, Portugal against Togo, France against Russia. Okay, maybe a, an upset. Netherlands versus Argentina. One of the big teams will be knocked out in the second round of the World Cup here. That'd be huge. Oh, Germany beat Denmark as well. Here we go. This is when it gets interesting, boys. Oh, Spain are against Belgium too, right? So there's going to be some big teams out. Okay. Can we get a team like, I don't know, like Togo in like the quarterfinals? Is that possible? Because I think there is two rounds of one, like one match shootouts. And then I think there's a group stage with the final 16 teams. Can we get a team like Syria or Mali or Angola in that group stage? Let's go. We're now through to the... Third round of the World Cup. This should be now down to, I believe, 32 teams. After this will be the, the final 16 in a group stage. Let's go. Oh, there's only... There's a small amount here. Let's see who's been knocked out. Algeria knocked out by Canada. Scotland! Scotland have knocked out Brazil! Scotland... Oh, my... What the... F what? Scotland have knocked out Brazil on penalties. Kieran Tierney with the goal and they beat Brazil on pens. Incredible scenes of glorious emotion here. Scotland are through to the third round knocking out the favourites in Brazil. Poland beating Bolivia. Cape Verde knocking out Hungary. Cape Verde is in the third round. Croatia knocking out H Norway. Cameroon knocking out Czech Republic. DR Congo knocking out Ireland. Ireland are out. Armenia is in the third round ahead of Finland. Germany knocked out Denmark. Ghana has knocked out Albania. England only, only just beating Guinea. Only 2-0. Bit of a shake on that one. Zambia are through to the third round knocking out Iceland. Italy beating Azerbaijan, Ivy Kors beating Romania, Nigeria knocking out Kuwait, sadly Kuwait, I think the lowest ranking team, they've gone home, they did well for themselves, right, Mexico has been knocked out of the World Cup by Mali, Syria, Syria has knocked out Morocco on penalties, Syria is through to the third round, Morocco's gone home, okay, Netherlands has knocked out Messi's Argentina, and this. they are out, Thanks to James Elgin Cow for the five gift subs. He's a man of his word. He said if Scotland 
beat Brazil. He'll donate five gift subs and he's a man of his word. Happy day. Turkey has knocked out Northern Ireland in extra time. Sadly, Northern Ireland boys are also going home. Paraguay knocked out Aust uh, um, Austria. France knocked out Russia. Only just, only 1-0. Saudi Arabia went through against Angola on penalties. So Angola has gone home. Senegal knocked out Madagascar 5-0. Madagascar has gone home as well. Respect to them. Big, big, uh, big clap to Madagascar. Serbia knocking out Greece. Spain have packed their bags. Belgium knocked out Spain on penalties. Tanzania are going home. Thanks to South Korea. Portugal knocked out Togo. Ukraine knocked out Aust Australia. Australia going home as well. They scored in 93rd minute, but got beat in extra time. USA is also going through through extra time. Bosnia is going home. Uruguay have knocked out Sweden. Uh, Egypt have knocked out Venezuela by a 120th minute goal by Adele. Salah being carried yet again. And in the last game, Wales, Kiefer Moore Brace has knocked out Colombia. And Wales are going through to the third round. And that is where we stand right now, boys. So let's go. This is a draw. Belgium against Syria. Cape Verde versus Egypt. Croatia v Senegal. Congo v Canada. Egypt v Korea. France versus Poland. Germany v Zambia. Ghana v Mali. Ivory Coast v Netherlands, Nigeria v Italy, Paraguay v Armenia, Serbia versus Saudi Arabia, Ukraine v Turkey, US v Scotland, Uruguay v Portugal, and Wales versus Cameroon. So what's probably the biggest matchup here? I don't really know. France v Poland? Maybe there's not really many big like matchups here. Maybe Uruguay v Portugal, potentially. Scotland has a chance to go through to the round of 16. Wales could also be in the last 16. Who's the smallest team I can potentially death who's guaranteed to make it through? Probably, I guess, DR Congo and Canada. I guess that's at like, the two lowest ranking teams. Or Paraguay versus Armenia, maybe. But yeah, Brazil, they're gone. They've gone home. Spain, gone home. Okay. And here we go. Let's go and see who will go through to the last 16. And here we go. The round of 16 group stage is on the horizon. Will we get Scotland or Wales or Zambia in there? Okay, it's still possible. Here we go. So, Belgium beat Syria 4-1. England beat Cape Verde 2-0. Senegal knocked out Croatia on penalties. Croatia are going home. Canada, Super Scotty Arfield and Liam Miller, my boy Liam Miller of all people, scored the goals and Canada are through to the last 16. Korea has knocked out Egypt in extra time. France knocking out Poland. 4-1 to France, Lewandowski are going home. Germany, 4-0, beating Zambia, no surprise there. Ghana, almost got a knocked out by Mali, but he made it through in extra time. Netherlands are packing their bags and going home. Ivory Coast are going through to the round of 16. Netherlands are going home. Van Dijk, more like Van Pike, going home, pal. Nigeria being knocked out by Italy in extra time. Paraguay are in the last 16, knocking out Armenia. Serbia, knocking out Saudi Arabia 2-0. Ukraine, knocking out Turkey in um, penalties. And the USA knocked out Scotland in extra time. How can Scotland knock out Brazil, bro, and then get knocked out by the USA? Are you kidding? Are you kidding me, man? Uruguay beating Portugal 2-0. And so that means that Ronaldo is going home. So Messi is out. Ronaldo is out. Okay, it's just not happening for, the, for those two. And then Wales beating Cameroon. 4-1, and that is the last 16 done. So we are in a group stage here, okay? we got a group stage of France, Ivory Coast, USA, and Wales, England, Germany, Senegal, and Ukraine, Ghana, Italy, Paraguay, and South Korea, and Belgium, Canada, Serbia, and Uruguay. It looks quite, like, you know... It looks quite reasonable, to be fair. The only, like, I guess, out there team in there is maybe Paraguay, potentially, I guess. We're going to see if Wales could maybe... Wales is possible. They could go through again like, in a group with Avicos and USA. England, Germany, definitely the favourites, but Senegal can definitely cause an upset, and so can Ukraine. Ghana, Italy... Paraguay, South Korea, we can see it either, we're guaranteed to get either one of Ghana, Paraguay, or South Korea in the quarterfinals officially. And in Belgium, Canada, Serbia, and Uruguay, it could really be any one of those four, really. So, this is it now. Let's go through to the quarterfinals. Here we go. Here we go. Are Germany knocked out? Are Wales going through? Did England qualify? Are Belgium knocked out? Did Canada top their group? So many questions here. Let's page. Let's see. Wales. Lost to USA. Oh, I don't know what that means. England beat Ukraine 3-0. England are through. Germany beat Senegal. 
by a Timo Werner last minute goal. So that means that Germany off through with England. We already knew with um, Italy and Ghana, we already knew they threw this round anyway. But at least Paraguay beat South Korea. Belgium beat Uruguay 5-3. I don't know what that means yet. We're going to find out. But Canada beat Serbia 2-1. So Canada won every single match in their group. They beat Belgium. They beat Uruguay. They beat Serbia. What is happening? Liam Miller and Scott Arfield scored again. France, USA. Wales are out. Wales are out. They put a good stead, but they could not get it done. And the USA is in the quarterfinals of the 2018 World Cup. England, Germany through. Italy, Ghana are through. And Canada and Belgium are through to the quarterfinals. So that means that this is the final eight. Belgium versus Canada. I swear they literally just face each other. What? Belgium and Canada are facing each other again. Same thing as Germany and England. They're facing each other again. With how many teams there is in this, then you're going to get some, like, weird things happen. So, it's not really a big deal. Ghana versus France. USA v Italy. Could we have Ghana or USA or Canada in the World Cup semi-final? Let's, be let's go. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Can England do it? Can we do it? Come on, man. Premier League. Quickly, I'll show you guys. Leeds are top of the Premier League, Southampton second, Watford third, United fourth, Man City are 20th, Liverpool are 19th, oh my god, so what's happened is that because of like the entire season, all their players are always on international break, it just means that like if they aren't playing international teams, then that means that like they just don't play. Okay, now it's time for greatness, the semi-finals of the World Cup of over 200 teams. What is it? Okay, next page. Let's find out. Three, two, one. Oh my. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, bro. So Canada is knocked out by Belgium. England is knocked out by Germany on penalties. Of course it's penalties, you bastards. France just, just beating Ghana 3-2. So, unfortunate for Ghana there. And Italy knocking out USA. So, after all of this, after all the teams, we've, we've, we've now ended up with France v. Italy and Germany v. Belgium. It's like nothing's ever happened. Oh, that's so dull. Even if, even if England was there, it'd still be kind of dull. Like, I was like one wacky team. At least like Canada in there. Oh, that's so annoying, like Ghana or something. Oh, bro. Tomorrow got recorded, which is great. Maguire, 7.2 rating. Madison missed. James Madison is the man that missed in the final. Well, quarter final. Danny Yings? Wait, Danny Yings is there? Danny Yings? What even is this formation? I know Southgate likes a bit of a defensive formation, but this is taking the piss, bro. Oh, I thought we'd get like one wacky team near the end. Even England would count as like a wacky team, I think. Or Canada or something, but not meant to be. Let's let, let let us finish this off. Okay. The semi-finals are here. The final of the 200 the 2018 World Cup is France versus Germany. If after all of this, if France just wins it anyway, I'm going to throw up. I'm going to fing throw up, bro. After all of this, if France still wins it, I'm gonna be so annoyed. The semis was France 1, Italy 0, killing Mbappé the goal, and Germany beating Belgium 3-2 by goals of Sula, Timo Werner, and Jerome Boltang. I, I swear Boltang can't even play. I swear that he's ret retired um, in terms of internationally. But, okay. Um, Eden Hazard, <laughs> yeah, sure thing, um, with two goals for Belgium. And there you have it. That's the final. France versus Germany. And we're gonna get we're gonna get our winner here, boys. It's about as um, predictable as you thought it would be. But we had some some good journeys by some teams here. And if France wins it anyway, then there's really no fucking point of doing this anyway. <laughs> there's no point. Here we go. After two hours, who has won the World Cup? I mean, it's just France. It's France. It's. Oh, after all this, it's France anyway. Of the 2022 or 21 slash 22 World Cup. It's France again. Kingsley Coleman and Anthony Marshi. No, I'm not having Anthony Martial was in the final scoring goals. I'm not having this. No, cancelled. It's forfeited, okay? I'm not having Anthony Martial scoring goals in the final, okay? This is a forfeit World Cup. I'm not having this. Martial, Coleman, Griezmann, to Liz. Where's Mbappe? 
Ha Hello? M Mbappe? Can't he? Mbappe? After all of this, your winners are France. And no one's happy. <laughs> Unless you're French. In terms of top goal scorers, okay, these are the real heroes of this tournament, right? Immobile. Why is Immobile always top of these? Like, no one has ever seen a single Immobile goal, like, live ever. Like, the guy's stats, I swear, is just put, like, it's put on by a sofa score, bro. And, like, who scored? His goals do doesn't actually exist. Ronaldo on fourth, Martinez fifth. Pot, Patrick, Sheik, okay, he's up there, Lukaku, Onatovic, Sigurdsson, Marega, Santos, Triple Mol Triple Molteng is joint 11th. Average ratings, it's Kylian Mbappe, who played 21 times, for some reason did not play in final, he must have been injured, he must have been, that must be the only way that makes sense, because he's played the entire tournament. Javi Kane up top, Suarez, Grealish, Ronaldo, Insigne, um, Kakuta, my boy, Kakuta, uh, is that, is that DR Congo? DR Congo! Kakuta, my boy, you're my star boy, man. I respect that massively. These are the real heroes of this save. But there you go, boys. That is a 220 team World Cup. Tell me down below. Did you guys enjoy this video? Whenever I can and I find a Qatar World Cup save, like a proper done one, then I will do a video on that, simming through that, and maybe doing that like 10 times or like 100 times to see how we do with that. But yeah, I really did enjoy doing this. If I can, if I find one, I may do a like 1,000 team like club World Cup. So like all the clubs in the world put into one tournament for like a mega Champions League or something. I'll try and see that. So tell me your thoughts down below. I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe.